Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I have a very quick video for you where I was playing with this style of fragrance dispenser. This is made by Airwick and I took it apart with the hope that I could integrate it within Home Assistant and maybe control it when it can uh, dispense some of the fragrance. To take it apart, the disassembly is very easy. There are a few screws that hold it on the top and with that you can extract both the PCB and the mechanism that operates the press on the fragrance bottle. And here I have it disassembled. This is the mechanism that controls the plunger. This is the plunger, I currently have it disconnected. And this is the PCB where the batteries connect on one side and it runs the motor to press the plunger. Then after that, the pressure from the plunger releases the lever back to its neutral position. And currently, as I have it here, you can see that I have it uh, plugged in into Home Assistant using ESP Home, as many of my devices are. When I choose to manually spray, then you would see that the motor would spin and that would theoretically move the plunger down so we can spray on demand. And to control the device, I'm using an old MCU as with uh, many of me, my other projects that I'm powering through my lab bench power supply with five volts. And then because the fragrance dispenser works with uh, three volts, so two AA batteries, I'm powering it from the three volt output of the Node MCU. Here on the PCB, I've soldered few wires. So I have wires on pin one, on pin eight and on pin two. And the way that this chip operates, I'll have the number here up on the screen, but I wasn't able to find any data sheet. I was able to find few resources that explain how it works. And there is a switch here where now it's being in the off position. We can move it one step ahead. That would trigger the release of fragrance every uh, 36 minutes. Then if I press it once again, then that would trigger the release of fragrance every eight minutes. And if I go to the fastest setting, that would trigger uh, the release of fragrance every nine minutes. How that it is achieved is that it uh, connects pins one and eight to ground. So the slowest is pin one to ground. The next one is pin eight to ground. And the fastest one is with pin uh, one and eight both to ground. And there is also a tap here on pin two of the IC that whenever we connect it uh, to ground, that immediately triggers the release of fragrance. And basically that is how we control the device through um, Home Assistant. Since there are no sensors with uh, how the motor spins and it's just a regular DC motor, the trick that uh, releases the plunger is the half gear and the half cock here. So when it reaches the far end position, then it will disengage. So it will not push on the a bottle anymore and the pressure from the bottle will then reverse it back and return it back into position so it's active for the next spin we can try it now and you see that would push it again the code that runs the device is fairly simple so i would go and skip this initial part which is basically the setup of the device i have three defined outputs on the node mcu so pin d1 d2 and d3 are connected to the pin one, uh, pin eight, uh, actually pin one, pin two, and pin eight from the IC on the controller board. And I have this inverted. So whenever I trigger the input, the output will actually go low and connect the specific pin with ground. That would trigger the, the action. And then I have few buttons one of them is for turning everything off. So all of the pins will be uh, brought high. So the device is basically stopped. And the idea with that is that we can then use this mode. So we could stop releasing fragrance uh, at night and we can stop releasing fragrance when nobody is at home and we can control many different situations uh, within the house. So only release some of the fragrance when there are people in the house and different scenarios around that. Next, I have 
Two, uh, I have three other buttons that activate a specific mode. So whether it's a slow release, medium or fast release of fragrance. And these buttons turn on and off uh, any of the pins depending on the situation that we want to, to have and how we want to control it. I have a specific button that uh, triggers the spray function. And for that to happen, we need to have pin two turned on, but also we need to have at least one of the other pins turned on as well. So the device needs to be in operations mode where it's either releasing um, fragrance slowly or faster. And then the pin two will be held on for one second and then we turn off both of them. So we know that we are no longer dispersing any fragrance and we can choose with other automation how we want to continue after that. To go one step further, we can also add a select for the specific mode where the device can operate. I haven't implemented that uh, yet. I didn't have the time to release this video, but probably in the future I'll work more and make it uh, more sustainable. And also I'll need to package this whole uh, mess with wires into the enclosure of the device but for now I just wanted to show it as a demonstration where we can have a specific modes where the device is off operates every nine minutes every 18 or every 36 minutes as per default or we can have any other modes here where we can have specific automations that uh, that run on the device one caveat that I noticed with the motor is that it depends probably on the pressure or on the position where it is where few times it happened that I applied the voltage and nothing moved on the device. So I hooked my multimeter to measure the voltage on the motor. So if I trigger the spray function, we could see that the motor got voltage and turned. But in some situations, let me try if I can maybe mimic that. In some situations, when I press the button, then the voltage was applied, but the motor was not spinning. Currently, I could not replicate that, but yeah, you saw that there was a bit of hesitation on the motor side here. No, so far it seems to be working. Maybe it's just a specific uh, position on the motor that doesn't work or if the motor has some damage because we are using this fragrance um, dispenser for quite a while now. Um, I'm thinking that maybe at some position it might have some issues with the contacts. So far, it seems to be working nicely. And we can control this from Home Assistant. And with that, I will end the video here because of time restrictions. So I'll have this on the bench for a couple of more days to, pr to try and figure out how to make it work within the enclosure. If you're interested in video for that, let me know down in the comments. If you want to see more projects and more prototypes, then be sure to subscribe, like this video if you like, and I would see you all in the next one. Cheers.